hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is louis so if this is your first time here on my channel please don't make it your last and if you're a returning subscriber i want to say thank you for stopping by once again so in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to style a wig for a bride on a canvas head so if this is what you're interested in this video is definitely for you and you need to keep watching So you guys, first off, I'm going to place the wig on my canvas head. So this is called, this thing right here is called a canvas head. So if you, for, for some of you who don't know what a canvas head is, this is it. It is used to make a wig. So you can just wear your cap, the wig cap on this and now sew the wig while it's on the canvas head. So I'm going to place it or wear it rather on it like so and then get a t-pin so you guys this is what a t-pin looks like i'm going to use it to like hold it down so it's better to secure your hair down when you're working because it makes everything lots more easier to work with so i'm done with that i'm going to get my rattle comb and then do a part so i think i'm still i'm just going to like maintain this part because um, it's still looking nice like it's looking okay so i'm going to take it down here So you guys, I just have to adjust the tripod to make sure you guys are seeing what I am doing. So I already sectioned a part out from the hair in the front. So this is what it looks like from here. So to start up, I'm going to get my argan oil. So I'm going to just apply a little on the hair. So if you've seen my last video, I said I like to concentrate only or mostly on the tips because it's always dry right here. So when I'm done with that, I'm going to get my treatment heat control because obviously in today's video, we're going to be working with heat. So because we don't want to like spoil or damage the hair rather, going to do that so then up next I'm going to get my hairbrush and then brush the hair so for the style we're going to be doing today we're going to first of all hold the hair down into a pony just as so so but before I do that I'm going to get my rubber band closed so I'll be using two rubber bands, you guys, to do this. You're going to find it really easy to do, just as I am doing right now. So I have everything slipped all back into a pony. So just because um, I want a, a firmer grip, I'm going to just, you know, section the hair into two and then pull it as so gently so you guys you see the hair is smooth now so i'm going to get my ultra hold spray if you're familiar with all the sprays i'm using or with my videos here on this channel you know i like to use this spray very well so i'm just going to spray it on the hair so you guys there are a lot of flyaways right here so in order to take Sorry, let me just focus this. Okay, so in order to take this out, I'm going to just use my hand and the comb to like smoothing it. As so. So 
so now it's time to do our bone but first i'm going to take out um, some strands from the hair okay so i'm going to just wrap this round to make sure our rubber band is you know well covered so I'm just going to get the pin, fold it as so, and then stick it into the hair just like that. So you guys, this part is looking all rough. I don't know if you guys can see. So I'm going to get my got to be spray and just spray it on this part. So that once it dries off, it's going to stay that way. So up next, I will be using my um, my bone or my hair padding rather. So I'm going to leave a video of how to do hair padding up here so you guys can go watch it and learn how to do hair padding just like the one I have here. So now I'm going to like. Um, Section this hair into two and just take out a little. So I really don't want to take out so much. So just a little. Then I'm going to flip this one over like this and get my control pin and then use it to like secure it down. So I'm going to comb this. So it can be really easy when I am working with it so I don't have to start struggling with combing the hair. So I'm going to wrap this round like so and just take it, you know. This is what the back is looking like right now. So initially, before I move to the back, I like to make sure I do this first. I get my curler. So usually for side swoops, when I'm doing a side swoop, I like to use my curler in, excuse me, please. So I like to use my color E28. So you guys, this is a size 28. I'm going to curl it with, without a spray. So the only thing I have in this hair is the argan oil and my Tresemme heat control. So I'm going to curl it inwardly, just as seen here. So for today's video, I'm not really going to like, or what am I saying? Honestly, I want you guys to really understand how all these things work. So after doing this hair, I'm going to take it off the mannequin so you guys can, you know, see what it looks like. You can actually package the hair and send it out to a bride who is not in your area, but really wants to use you and can afford to like bring you over because of them. Um, distance, the pandemic, or even the cost of pulling you over, so this will help. So once this one heats up, I'm going to take out the curler and then get my control pin and hold it down like this. So I'm going to move on to the last one. And just comb it out. 
think I need to drop the color picture. This is well detangled. So now I still feel I have to make this part really clean. So I'll go in with my hot comb and then pull it, push it rather like this. So if I put my curler, I comb one more time. Make sure it's smooth there because I really don't want you to have any any breach. Then curl straight away. So we're going to have our baby hair here. And once I'm done, I'm going to like dry with my hand dryer. So once I take this out, I'm going to like take the shape of this mannequin of the, excuse me, the canvas head. And then get my control pin and hold it down. So you guys were going to move back to this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to section this one and then get my coiler. So today's hairstyle, I'm not using any invisible net. We're just going in directly with our coiler. So we're going to just do like um, coiling and placing. So it's going to give us this um, rose-like um, vibe. So that's it. We just wanted it to hit a bit and take that shape. So I'm going to turn it this way, you guys. So from here, I'm going to get my bobby pins and just put it inside like so. Then on this part, we're going to hide it here. So it's going to sit directly on top of this one. So I'm going to get a U pin and then just put it here so that one vanishes into the head completely then I'm going to use this one and just make a smaller one here and then get another U pin And do this. So, this is what we're going to do to every part. So, you guys, I also thought I should show you how the UP comes. This is how it comes in a small pack. It comes in different colors, like the pack. So, this, this is a lot, and it's sold for 5,000 naira. So I'm just going to carefully place it somewhere because I wouldn't want to start looking for them. So I'm going to use this right here and just hide it in. Good. So this part is already looking all laid. So I'm going to section the hair again, take out a piece. And then comb. So I'm going to get my curler now.
and then curl it. So for hairstyles like this, it depends on how broad you want the rose-like thing to be. You can use a smaller curler. It's, it's optional depending on the look you want to achieve. So I actually left my trailer on before I set up for this video. So um, I know somebody will say, oh, you just put it now and you're taking it out. Trust me guys, this trailer has been on for over an hour now. So you guys, you see, so I don't need to start waiting for it to like heat very well. I just put the trailer on and, you know, focus on doing other things because I really don't have so much time. So I just placed that there. I'm going to get my new pin and put it boom like that. I'm going to get another one. Boom. Just to make sure it's smooth. Then turn like so. so. I think I should bring this down a bit.
So you guys, I'm going to take out my control pins from the hair. You guys can see I'm not even pitting the hair. Like I'm just doing it. As if it's not, nothing is going to happen because that's how how good I now trust myself. Another thing when you're working is confidence. Most of us don't have um, confidence. That's why when we're doing something we feel or it doesn't work well because we don't have confidence. You should tell yourself you can do it and trust me, everything is going to work really soon. Patience, self confidence. So these are like the two key things in S5. Let's leave products out of it right now. So just patience and confidence. You can be backward and then do this. So to make this part a bit high, I like to do this. So I'm going to be leaving just one pin and I'm going to use my comb to smooth in this part. So you guys, this is what it looks like here. So because I want this part to be really flat, I'm going to drop one control pin there. So honestly, this is giving me Marilyn Monroe. Can decide to leave this is up to you, <laughs> but not today. Though. So I have it like this. I'm going to spin this stubber. Stay there. So I'm going to hold this together and then run my comb through it one more time, and then use my two fingers like this. So I'm going to be placing this. In a slanty form and then pull it down like this. So we're going to be repeating it. So the attention, two fingers, pull this up, so two fingers, pull this up and drop. So now I'm going to get my control pin and just use it here. And I'm getting another one so because I want it to be really flat. So now we're going to comb this part like this. And just make sure we follow the waves. So just let it follow. Guys, this is it. I'm going to be getting my excuse me. I'm going to be getting the UP. I'm using this for this part. Make sure I hold the teeth down. I'm going to get another one. Put it like that. Get one. Put it like that. So I'm doing this before I spray. So I'm just trying to use this to like press down all these angles because by the time you spray, it should be able to like stick down. So I'm just using this to press all the angles down. So I'm going to take this one before I spray, take it out because I honestly don't like it when I do um, a side two and is having all the hash hash lines there. So you guys see what I'm doing? I'm just using my control pin or my U pin rather. Why do I keep saying control pin? You hold it down like that. So honestly guys, this is not going to 
Whoa, this is going nowhere. So I'm just going to use my cut to be spray. So remember, if you're working on a client, you don't spray like this because this is crazy. Spraying like this means you're going to mess her makeup up or spray into her eyes. So I like to get paper. You guys have seen um, some of my videos, the way I place paper here and spray so it doesn't touch the person's face. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to get my rattle comb and then you know, use it to like smoothen it so that all the flyaways or the spray will be blended into the hair because once you just leave it there and it sets, it's going to leave you know, like white particles on the parts where you have the spray so you just use your control pins to like work it in yes work it in guys then remember close with a paper and spray so because we're working on a mannequin i don't have that luxury of time to start doing all that so I still want this part to be really flat and placing it like that. So we have our pins holding it. So just trying to make sure this part is also flat. So you guys, we're done with this. We're going to be moving into the next step, which is setting. So this is like my favorite part when it comes to like mannequin hairstyles, setting, because this is what is going to help the hair like stay down really firm after everything. So, but before we dive into setting, we're going to control this, our sister hair, the baby hair. We're going to use um, our gel and the edge control brush to lay this down and then move straight to setting. So you guys, the basic things we've been needing for um, the BB hair is our got to be spray, the got to be gel and a toothbrush. It mustn't be you know, a very expensive brush. So I just like anything that is soft. I don't really like like you know, hard brushes so I have my gel on the brush I'm going to use my spray like this on the brush so we're going to just do this so you guys we're not doing um, we're not going to do like an elaborate baby hair so I just want something that still look, looks natural I'm going to leave it in like cold air and in low temperature cold air going to be doing this carefully because if you blow it too much you might end up you know taking out all your hard work just in the twinkle of an eye so we're good I'm going to carefully take out my control pins my U pins sorry guys once again I'm going to take this out so my thing is just pulled that one so I'm going to just beat this inside in the part so to I like to place it whenever I do any hairstyle so for this part it might fall off it might not but just to place it I like to go in with one of the U pins on this part and then just 
take it in and let it go. So we have a we have just two control pins or U pins rather in the hair, one here and one here. So we're using it to like hold this down and also hold this part down. So that's it for that part. So we're going to carefully take out this. So you see this other one has taken the shape of you know what we did over there so um for shine this is for like pictures in order to make it look more you know unique shiny for pictures i like to use the olive sheen extra virgin oil so this is a shiny i think i got this for um three thousand naira. so i i'm going to just spray this on the hair so I actually wished I showed you guys like a before the spray then and after so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm going to now spray this part and just part so it can fit properly. And then this other part, you guys, this is the before and this is the after. I feel like it's there any change? Please leave it in the comments below and uh, honestly i like i would like to see you guys recreate this hairstyle and tag me to it on instagram so i hope this video was really insightful and you guys really enjoyed it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you get to do that and also don't forget to give this video a very big thumbs up like my other videos watch them share them with your friends because you know sharing is caring and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you always be notified whenever I post a video. So if there anything you want to see here on this channel, please don't forget to leave it in the comments below. And I promise you guys I'm going to come through. So I love you all to the moon and back. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.